Tonight, we're hearing from Columbia's fifth ward city council member ahead of Monday's special council meeting. Thanks for being with us. I'm Lucas Geisler. Deborah has the night off. The council set to take up a vote on a mask mandate in the city next Monday. ABC 17 Zach Boetto spoke with Councilman Matt Pitzer today. He was the lone no vote last time the council discussed this and Zach, they could pass that citywide mask mandate at Monday's meeting. Yeah, the council could, Lucas, and on Monday when it was discussing the mask mandate, the council was split on the decision. But today, in talking to Ward 5 council member Matt Pitzer, it sounded like he would not be voting for the mask mandate because he says the vaccine outreach with the health department is enough. What do you think is different this time around from the original mask mandate? Well, the difference now is that we have tools to fight this. Six out of seven city council members must vote yes on Monday to approve an emergency mask mandate in Columbia citywide. The ordinance was put to draft in city council's last meeting as the Delta variant powers a surge in COVID-19 cases among the unvaccinated. The emergency ordinance wants everyone five and older to wear a mask anytime you're within six feet of someone else from outside your household. Ward 5 council member Matt Pitzer isn't for it. He thinks the health department is doing a good enough job with vaccine outreach. You know, the number of vaccines that they administered in July was up 50% over what they did in June. And that's exactly what we want. We want them focused on vaccine outreach, not enforcing a mandate that's almost impossible to, to enforce anyhow. Pitzer says he wears masks where he's required to, but doesn't want the council to be responsible for overreach. Council will first hear public comments before voting on a mask mandate, which Ward 2 Council Member Andrea Weiner says she's looking forward to. In a statement, she says, quote, As elected officials, our job is to lead with data and to do what is in the best interest of all those in our community. And right now, that looks like strongly encouraging people to get vaccinated and to wear a mask, end quote. And Lucas, the ordinance, if passed, would stay in place for 30 days unless amended or rescinded. And if anyone is convicted of violating this mask ordinance, they could face a $15 fine and businesses could face up to $100 fined. Reporting live from Columbia, Zach Boetto, ABC 17 News. All right, Zach, thank you very much. We also want to welcome our viewers on Fox 22 following the NFL Hall of Fame game. That special meeting in Columbia will be held at 7 o'clock at City Hall.